If you have a large church with a budget to match, well, you might consider creating your own programming. Now, this is ambitious, so only the largest churches usually try it. You have two choices when producing your own programming. Buy or rent equipment and produce the program yourself, or take your idea to professionals. You can probably get a good rate at the station which is airing your program, or you could go to a production studio which specializes in audio or video production. Uh, let's visit some professional production houses and see the equipment which is required for them to do their work. Recent advances in technology have blurred the line between professional and consumer audio and video production equipment but there is still a substantial difference in the quality and cost of the equipment used by professionals and that used by consumers. For audio production at radio stations, recording studios and ministries like the Voice of Prophecy and Adventist World Radio Asia, the microphones, mixing consoles, tape recorders and speakers are more rugged and yet more sensitive than consumer versions. By the same token, Video production equipment, which has taken the consumer market by storm in the last 10 years, has counterparts in professional television stations and production houses, like the Adventist Media Center and Three Angels Broadcasting Network, but professional video cameras, recorders, and lights are more sophisticated, better quality, and much more expensive. Radio programming is less expensive to produce than television, but you must still use professional quality equipment and have skilled personnel. Using reel-to-reel -reel recorders rather than cassette yields better quality and allows editing. Making a tape of the church service is the easiest, least time-consuming approach. It is also the least interesting program format, although it does give the community a chance to experience worship with your congregation on neutral ground you may be able to simply run an audio cable from your public address system to the tape recorder. When recording a church service, your members need to be educated to refrain from saying something on the air that the audience might not understand or appreciate, like in-house jargon. Timing can be a problem, since your program must fit into the half hour or hour blocks of a broadcast station schedule. Your program may need to be edited to fit the time slot. This can be done either by physically cutting and splicing the tape or re-recording the program on a new tape, keeping the parts you want in the program and leaving out those you do not. Televising your church service can provide an unparalleled opportunity for reaching large numbers of people on a regular basis. People who would be reluctant to visit your church will watch a service in the comfort and security of their homes. Your pastor can become a household word in your community. As he ministers to their spiritual needs, some people who have never been to your church may begin to think of him as my pastor. Your weekly program can be a platform for invitations to meetings and programs at your church involving segments of the community you might have missed otherwise. Producing a regular church service for television is a huge undertaking, however. The consumer camcorders which have become so familiar are not good enough quality for use in broadcast television. The professional quality equipment required to produce a church service for broadcast television will cost a minimum of $25,000, and it's easy to spend 10 times that much. If your program is to be on a cable TV channel only, like one of the many public access channels, the quality requirements may be less stringent. Be sure to check with your local cable TV system for free time on their public access channel if they have one. The audience may be small, but the price is right. A minimum equipment configuration for shooting a church service would include two industrial quality cameras on tripods with fluid heads for smooth movement, a switcher to switch between the two cameras, two monitors, some kind of communication system to allow the director to talk to the cameraman, and a three-quarter inch format editing suite in which the videotape recorder, 
would be used to record the program output of the switcher. You would probably want a portable recorder as well to allow you to shoot footage outside the sanctuary. Plus, you must have someone who can operate the equipment and train volunteers to operate it. A television ministry can easily require 10 to 20 people devoting free time to the project each week. And of course, the initial investment is just the beginning. As time goes by, money must be spent for tape, cables, batteries, repairs, upgrades, and additional equipment. Plus, the equipment in the minimum configuration may not be enough to produce a sharp opening and closing for your program. You may have to let your TV station or a production company do that. But there are other formats to choose from when you're thinking of going on the air. A popular format is the magazine or talk show format. In this format, a variety of guests and features are aired. Some of the segments might have been pre-recorded and edited for playback during the program. This format is less formal and more interesting than a church service, but it is more time consuming to produce. You might prefer the lecture format. The speaker basically preaches a sermon, but not in the context of a church service. You might wish to add a musical number as well. But be careful to clear the music with the copyright owner if you use pre-recorded music. Owning a copy of a recording does not give you the right to use it in your program. Copyright infringement is a serious offense. With this format, the speaker can go to the broadcast station and tape the program there, or even do it live, making it unnecessary for the church to buy equipment or train volunteers. It will require extra preparation time on the part of the speaker, and it will need a producer, a member of the church who sees to all aspects of the production and makes sure it gets done. If your station is equipped, you could also try a radio call-in program. Talk radio is very popular. Guests from a variety of special interest areas make good programming. The on-air person must be able to think fast and for a religious program, have a good command of the Bible. He or she must also have a lot of courage, because in live broadcasting, anything can happen. Well, as you can see, there's a wide variety of ways your church can use the broadcast media, ranging from simple free announcements all the way to full-blown in-house television production. And if you still aren't sure how your church could use radio and TV, talk to someone at a local station. They will undoubtedly be able to give you even more ideas. Now that's all for this lesson. But lesson eight is our last lesson. And in it, we will try to put all this information together to give you a look at how a total local church communication program can work. Hmm, <laughs> I see the storm has subsided and, and the sun has returned. Now, perhaps this would be a good time to see if my kite will fly.